overdressed for the heat, but it just appeared that um, you know that we were we were getting very hot. We were getting very very winded. Um, and in the second half, I was concerned during that final drive that we didn't have enough in us. Um, so in that last 50 seconds, you know, to be able to go from where we were down the field is, is a terrific testament to the offensive line who had had a tough time against Beverly's uh, defense. Dan did a great job today. They always, thank you, they always um, do a really nice job defending us. Um, you know, get, Dan gets very creative, confuses us. Our practice week is really difficult when we prepare for Beverly, but... You know, it's entirely that group of kids did that entire drive. You know, we 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 you know we played. We called very basic stuff that we call all the time. Nothing different. Nothing that we haven't shown before. Um, and the kids just stepped up. It was fantastic. Was this something you saw, Jim, between Garrett and Manning that you thought could work against Beverly today? You know, not so much. You know, it was. It, it has more to do because Dan gives you, Coach Bauer gives you so many looks. You can't anticipate. Pre, you can't anticipate from the sidelines when you're calling a play what defense they're even going to be in. So what you're hoping to do is what we do is we try to package two plays together. So, you know, Garrett has at least one read, a run and a pass read on almost every play, except those last couple of ones where we didn't put the run read in and we just gave him the one. You know, that he was just doing his basic progression on his reads and yeah. you know he, he found the right guy every time. We, you know, I won't say that. Nope, I won't say that. I don't want to. So, in case so, we need it next year. So he's recognizing, you know, the defense. He's seeing his man get open, and obviously Manning. Yeah, know, Manning. There's, a, great there's one today. play in particular that we beat Beverly on in three years straight, and please don't any of you put that in the paper.